Hey Virgo, Virgo Rising, this is your monthly March 2015 reading. Now the overall tone of the month is the Six of Swords, that's for the whole month. So some of you are leaving a relationship, some of you are making great strides moving forward, some of you are doing a lot of work and it's hard work but you're going to move forward, you're happy with that and some of you are changing your destination by changing your perspective. Some of you are asked to carry on an important duty and some of you, your responsibility will be great, greatly um, increased. So let's start. At our work, you have the Eight of Cups that is going away for work, shifting in work, maybe a promotion at work, shifting direction at work, going on a creative adventure, going in a different direction. Maybe some of you will be leaving work to work abroad. Maybe some of you will be leaving this department and starting in another. Maybe some of you are leaving university and going out into the big wide world this year in March. For whatever reason, you are on an adventure. For some of you, it's foreign. For some of you, you are... Um, uh, asked to lead, lead the team, lead the adventure. Um, the responsibility is something that you're um, um, that you feel strongly about, that you are in control of, and that this is something that you hold dear. Um, and you accept this challenge, and you're ready. You're ready to go. I mean, this is a person who is on their adventure, and they get, they can't wait to set out. They can't wait to get going. And, um, you know, this can be seen as foreign work. This can be seen as you could you couldn't just be moving completely. You could be moving um, from one country to another for some of you. Um, but this is a wonderful advancement. This is this is movement. This is growth. This is going forward. So whether you're looking for a job, you're going to be hitting the pavement, going out for job interviews. If you're at a job at the moment, You'll be, um, some of you will be uh, changing day to night shift. Uh, some of you will be getting a promotion. Some of you will be uh, moving um, uh, work, whether it be shifting from one department to another or buildings or being promoted or um, leaving this job and going, uh, going for it, going for another one. Some of you are going to just, you know, call it quits and go in a completely different direction. At home, at home is a wonderful time of pl complete calm, karma, peaceful and enjoyment. Some of you will be helping out another person in your life, whether it be a family member, a close, close friend, a partner or a child. Maybe somebody has some mental illness. Maybe someone has an addiction illness and you're asked to, um, you're called on to help uh, in a loving and, uh, and to be the strength to support somebody else. If this is you that needs the strength, you will find it. You will find the support. And there's plenty of, this could be a Leo in your life, there's, there's plenty of um, growth, there's plenty of love, support uh, and, and personal growth. And there's it's almost like this is a karmic reward or a karmic process of how this happens um, around the home, uh, someone very close to you or you yourself. And getting back to what I was saying before, some of you will be leaving a relationship and leaving in a relationship in a, in a, um, in a harsh way. Some of you, it was a, an abusive, manipulative relationship where you um, had to flee, had to flee completely. Your partner is controlling and manipulative. You've made excuses for them, but, you know, you can't ignore what's right in front of you any longer you have to you have to you know um either get a balance or, or move move forward move, moving on um some of you are feeling um out of the cold feeling ignored feeling like the cold shoulder so for whatever reason the person that you've been um talking to uh connecting to um they're a, a bit cold uh distant um or behaving that way or are you uh, cold uh, and distant from them are you being stingy with your time or are they being stingy with their time so if this is you you know 
and a reflection why are you feeling like that why are you behaving like this this is obviously you're dating someone because you are ready for love are you actually ready for love is that the point is that the message that's coming out this month in march is this your time um virgo for you to maybe maybe you're so busy supporting somebody else that you don't have time for dating maybe that's the message maybe um the message is that uh, be careful who you date because you don't want to go into a relationship where somebody's controlling you, manipulating you, and taking up all of your time. For others, um, this is taking a break, uh, taking a break completely and reassessing the situation and come back and see how things are in a couple of weeks' time. And for uh, couples that are um, been together for a long time, committed com uh, partners and relationships this month is about making sure that you make time for each other making sure that you are not being stingy with your time that your dialogue is open that you uh, are in a balanced relationship perhaps this is showing that um, they really need your support this month for whatever reason forever reason so maybe these two cards are together for you that your partner has been ill and really needs you or you are really ill and you need them you know are you uh, mentally going through a depression mentally going through um a loss and you're shutting your partner out and they're feeling cold they're feeling distant they're feeling like you are closing them out is that is that what's happening in this scenario or is it the other way around so Virgo, I ask you, work's looking good, um, home is looking good, um, and you're moving forward. And it's not, it's, there's no motor on this boat. This is good hard work, making great strides to move forward and having the strength and the courage to do so. This is also the strength and courage to make these large changes, changing your perspective. So you have a wonderful March and I'll see you in April.